Apple has been gradually increasing the amount of storage built into its devices, but without the option to add an SD card, once you've used up this space, you're out of luck. Thankfully, there is an easy way to free up space on the handsets and tablets without having to delete photos or uninstall apps. It was first discovered by Reddit user and works by forcing the phone to spring clean itself. I have an iPhone with 16GB so I'm always dealing with low storage, Reddit user eavesdropping you said on the original post. A trick I do to get back some storage is to try to rent a movie with a big file size. He used Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers as an example. Users can check their current used and available storage space by going to Settings, General and Storage and iCloud Usage. For the trick to work, the film the user attempts to rent from iTunes must be larger than the amount of storage left on the iPhone or iPad. It only works if there is less free storage space on the phone than the movie in the iTunes store. When the user clicks on the rent button next to the film, a prompt will appear saying there is not enough storage left to rent the selection. They will then be given a choice of tapping OK or Settings. Hitting Settings takes the user to the Settings menu, where the amount of storage available on the device will have already increased. This is because, to try to make room for the movie, the iPhone cleans installed apps to remove data, cookies and histories that are no longer needed. That's actually clever. I just went from 800 megabytes to 4.9 gigabytes free space, one fellow Reddit user commented. The original writer, eavesdropping you, was surprised at this amount of extra space, and said that they had never managed to recover this amount. The post suggests renting the same movie multiple times to free up even more space. This is an awesome tip. Thank you. I went from 2.2 gigabytes free to 3.3 after a few tries. All apps show very little storage utilization now. Awesome workaround. Another Reddit user wrote. There's also another trick to this. When the cannot download prompt comes up, don't touch it for a while. The cleanup process seems to run until you hit OK or settings.